are we going? Florida! We are going to Florida. We have a house yeah. rented with a bunch of airplane friends. We're just picking away south. Our next stop is Neosho, Missouri. First step done. <laughs> so we are spending the night in this cute little town of Neosho, Missouri. And um, we decided just to not push it with the weather. Alabama. We're doing 170 true uh, with a 52 knot tailwind. Ground uh, speed 221. That is a new record for us. We are hauling. Wowzers. We are at the Perry Foley Airport in the north part of Florida. Is that the panhandle? Yeah. Okay, so we just got to our beach house that we're renting with a bunch of other airplane friends and I wanted to show you this beach. So here is the private pier at the end. There's a bar, private kayaks. Look at this tricycle. It's like a beach tricycle. We, got, we found this house on VRBO. Here is the s'mores pit. There is a private tiki bar and grill over there. And there is the hammock over here. Yeah, this is this is the reason I got that. And the bench. I mean, honestly, it's just sunset, so it's so pretty right now. This is um, this is beautiful and pretty reasonable when we had enough people come with us. Here's a putting green over here. Tackle fishing gear over here. It is going to be a fun week. You ready? Yes! We're going to see the ocean. You all got hands? Here we go. Going to see the ocean. So up there is another hot tub. But right there is the ocean.
Stars exhibit, kind of comparing flight birds and how we got to the moon. And the boys are at the boat show, but we're having tons of fun with the kids and some friends at the, at the Miami Science Museum, which is totally cool. Clear. Echo Charlie, Palm Beach. Uh, Palm Beach, Experimental A2 Niner Echo Charlie is seven miles west of Stewart. Um, looking to pick up IFR. Experimental A2 Niner Echo Charlie, Rod. Number A2 Niner Echo Charlie, maintain VFR, walk 1150 ident. 1150 ident, VFR. Number A2 Niner Echo Charlie's radar contact, one zero miles northwest of the Stewart Airport. Palm Beach, uh, correction, Vero Beach altimeter, 3015, stay altitude. Uh, 3015, we are currently 1,800. Number 29, Echo Charlie, cleared to the Oscar Papa November Airport uh, via as filed. Finally maintain 5,000. OPN as filed, 5,009, Echo Charlie. And uh, November 29, Echo Charlie, just have a slight amendment to your route, advise when you're ready to copy. Uh, we're ready to copy. Number 9, Echo Charlie is cleared to uh, off the top of November via direct Treasure, Tango Romeo Victor, then direct uh, Titusville, and then direct Oscar Papa November. Finally maintain 5,000. Cleared OPN direct Tango Romeo Victor, or I'm sorry, OPN uh, via Tango Romeo Victor, Titusville 5,000. Number 9, Echo Charlie, Rebecca is correct, and you could expect 6,000 as your final. Expect 6,000 final, Niner Echo Charlie. There we go. Flight plan loaded in. So we are direct Treasure, Titusville, and then direct OPN. Uh, 5,000, expecting 6,000. A lot different type of flying, Orlando isn't it? Approach one two four yes. point eight three nine zero zero zero. Right and like I said, we're going to be three 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 Juliet Sierra. Contact my mission one three two point four five. No problem. Thirty two forty five three eight Juliet Sierra. There eight two nine Charlie. Stay right condition. Uh, we're in between uh, some buildups right now, so we're smooth. Um, in the buildups, it's I would say moderate. Renarco Charlie, thanks for the report. Renarco Charlie, amendment to your routing advisor, ready to copy. Uh, ready to copy. Renarco Charlie, clear to Melbourne, Mike Lima Bravo. Join Victor 3 to Ormond Beach, Oscar Mike November. Direct destination, Melbourne Victor 3, Ormond Direct. Uh, MLB, Victor 3, Oscar Mike November, Direct OPN. We are flying home. We are currently IFR. Eleven thousand. We're not we're not in the soup now, but we definitely uh, require that IFR clearance to get out. We did. We, we had did. a uh, there was a Thank kind you. of a the solid line of kind of crappy thunderstorms right across the whole state of Florida at about Orlando. 
we were able to kind of cut her on the side. We were in, you know, IMC. Uh, got a little bit of rain. A couple of bumps, not too bad. Not too bad. That was just fine. Yep. But it got us out of there just fine. It was kind of cool. They directed us right over Cape Canaveral. Echo Charlie, contact Jack's approach, 127.0, see you. 1270, 9 Echo Charlie. Uh, so I maybe saw a little bit through the clouds of like a road. Okay. Oh, at uh. And, and some grass and some pavement. That's of, at uh. Of Cape Canaveral. Cape Canaveral. But it was hard to see yeah. through the crowd. Would have been clouds. cool because there's actually a SpaceX Falcon 9 with Starlink on the pad, and we were within, I would say, three miles Whoa. of that rocket. I mean, we're at 11,000 feet with clouds in between us, so unfortunately. I couldn't see it, but November zero that was zero cool. Cool, nonetheless. Zero Charlie Sierra, zero Charlie Sierra, Jack. Um, One, two, yeah, and now seven, we're seven, uh, seven. in northern Florida. Zero Charlie Sierra, We are uh, on top of a, a solid layer, and we're, nine, 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 we're just kind of brushing 4, 000, the tops of this, this cloud. It's, One, it's smooth. Point zero. Got a little headwind, you know, 15 knot headwind. Uh, it's not too bad. Point zero, uh, I'm not complaining. Nine, 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 it is so beautiful. I love flying like this. Very cool. So it's a one week from when we left, right? Uh, we a left week and a day. We stayed at our uh, friend's house on Friday night. Yep. And then... Went to the Naked Lady Ranch. Went to, went to Naked Lady Ranch Air Park. And then um, we all went to a beach house that we had on Hamilton. Uh, Jensen Island. Hamilton Beach? No. No. Jensen Island. Jensen Island? Jensen Beach? I, I thought it started with an H. Hutchinson Island. Hutchinson Island. Hutchinson Island. There we go. Hamilton, Hutchinson, yeah. Jensen. Yep, we stayed um, at a beach house called Art on the Beach. Art on the Beach. Um, we should put in some uh, yeah, video. We'll, we'll put some links in links the description. Oh, Number three, it was five Manor Delta Alpha Country Jack symbol approach one two seven point seven seven. Was unbelievable. Goosebumps just thinking about I it. I know. Symbol approach one two seven point seven seven. On the three, ocean. Five Delta Beaches Alpha. on both sides. Ocean on one side. Private calm beach on the other loaded with tons of stuff for the kids to do. We were out doing beach stuff every day, uh, fully stocked. Um, I cannot say enough wonderful things about this beach house. And then this company owns a number of different beach houses, but the whole experience of the area beach house was top notch. Did a lot of meals together. That was super fun. And it was just so, it, we, we went with our Oshkosh friends that we camp with. And it was so nice to spend time with him outside of Oshkosh, too, because we actually got more time to talk and chat. And instead and of, you know, kind of running around to and fro at Oshkosh. And yeah. There we go. And um, then we checked out on Thursday, and then um, Friday. No, yeah, wait. Or thir we checked out on Thursday, and then Thursday, Thursday morning. Ed Three twenty nine contact Ed and the other people went to the Miami Boat Show. How was the Miami Boat Show? Yeah, so kind of a last minute decision. Um, some of our friends had left Wednesday night to go down to Miami to head a hotel down there. They're looking at buying a sailboat, which awesome. Um, and then you know, just kind of last minute, we, um, we, it was bad weather to fly home. Couldn't fly home Thursday, so we're like, well, let's drive down to Miami. So we had the rental Suburban, um, and then uh, we packed that up, three car seats in the far back, three adults in the middle row, two adults in the front, and we booked it down to Miami. Uh, Welcome to Miami. Uh, Brian, Don Ryan, um, Lenny, and I went to the boat show with Scott Schmidt and their family, and yes. uh, Colleen and Brandy, Brandy and, and I all the kids, and the kids went, went to the Science Museum of Miami, which was also very, very cool. And with the kids in the back singing Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer, Brandy and I navigated downtown <laughs> Miami in rush hour. Oh, yeah. And then we picked up the guys. Yeah, had, had dinner at the Ritz Carlton Hotel. Yep. And then headed back to our friend's house, spent the night, got up, loaded the plane, going back home. It was and such a fun, home. fun, fun trip. And trip. I'm very glad that you got your instrument rating because it made this trip. We wouldn't have gotten out of Florida yeah. today. We would have had to stay another day. Oh. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have got the instrument rating. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, yeah. So, I mean, boat show was incredible. It's like the Oshkosh for boats, the Miami boat show. Just huge. We saw maybe 10% of it. 
got to tour maybe 10 or 15 big catamaran sailboats. We got to meet um, a couple of the people from the YouTube, they're uh, sailing YouTubers called Sailing Zatara. Oh. Uh, we got to meet uh, Keith and uh, his sons. Cool. And they, a few years back, sold everything they had, drove to Florida, bought a sailboat, learned how to sail, and they've been sailing around the world ever since. Wow. Uh, they came up to the boat show to kind of meet people. And so that was really cool meeting him. That's cool. Um, that's a that's a cool setup. He used, he, he's a pilot. He used to own King Airs and stuff like that. He did? So, yeah. Oh. Yep, so he you know, kind of related to us on the flying stuff. And, you know, his, his big push, and I totally agree with him, is that the reason they're doing it is so that they can enjoy time with their family. Um, instead of, you know, the rat race, you know, chasing dollars, and, you know, oh, you know, we're saving for the future. Well, he realized that they were constantly saving for the future, but in the at, meantime, at the he was present. missing out on his kids growing up. And, you know, now he's got, he's got the, he has five kids. Um, two of them are kind of now grown. They just had an 18-year-old move out, and he was, he was getting a little choked up, you know, missing missing those times because yeah. you, you never get that back so I'm really glad that we're exploring with the boys and just really enjoying the family um, so so Does, Keith if you happen to yeah. see this thank you that is you gave wonderful wonderful advice inspiration yeah and, and yeah you're an inspiration to us all so yeah kind of puts everything in perspective yep boats are cool <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think Lenny? Should we sell the airplanes and get the sailboats? Totally. Totally? Yeah. Two yeah. of them. Two of them. Yeah. Maybe, maybe pull uh, an amphib behind them so we can still fly. But that, instead of a dinghy, just get like a little full plane. Yeah. One of those A5s. Wow. Yeah, that, that would work. Totally. <laughs> Brian, you going to sell your plane? We're all selling our planes and buying boats. Uh, we could all sell our planes and buy one. one. <laughs> yeah. That might be accurate. Now we got to get her convinced to do a, uh, a boat vacation. You get a little sick. I uh, will have to do some research on that. Yeah. Anyone have any tips for me? Please send them my way. What's up at goodplaneliving.com? We'll work on that. No, we'll work we'll on, right on that. Kind of, kind of in the clouds right now. I think we're actually on an in-between layer right now, but can't really see anything, so we are actual. and This will be timed as actual. I haven't heard anything on the radio for a while. Yeah, neither have I. Sometimes when you just don't hear ATC for a while, you kind of like, crap, is everything working? You're like, where yeah. are I, you? I'm on the right frequency. I always, uh, I always use the scratch pad on the iPad to, to write down the frequency I'm on, you know, just in case something gets bumped and, you know, I change to a frequency unintended. And uh, typically I monitor uh, 121.5 1. Um, just in case there is an issue and I can't, you know. I lose track or I miss a handoff or something. Wow. Oh. Alright, turn that camera on. We just you know popped wow. out of a layer and we're in a really pretty a really pretty undercast here. Aww. It's so pretty. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so we were we were in IMC in the clouds and I could see, you know, quite a bit of precipitation on the wing. And just moisture on the wing. We're at 32 degrees, so, or 33 degrees. It wasn't freezing, but uh, <coughs> use that as an opportunity to call Jackson approach, uh, just to make sure that, one, we could still talk to him, and two, to get a little lower to get to some warmer air so we don't get icing. I'm gonna miss the ocean. Oh yeah, and our I've bedroom looked out right over uh, the ocean. And I'm gonna miss the ocean. Hear the waves crashing yeah, all night long. Yeah, and the breeze long. and everything. And I'm also gonna miss the smell right now in Florida because everything is like moist and green and there's so much oxygen and right now in Minnesota it's like super frozen. frozen. <laughs> We're going oh, back to man. negative 20. It's difficult to go back to that cold of weather. Uh, but we haven't taken a vacation the past couple winters like this. Um, for two years. For two years, so I think that we're gonna make this a priority. Similar to how we've been inspired by the Tara. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. Yep. Got a lot of boogie boarding in. Oh. Um, took out some kayaks in the big waves. 
I'm not here, Charlie. Connecticut Center 133, correction 127.579, Charlie 2757. 2757, 9 Iraq, Charlie. Seven experimental A2, 9 Iraq, Charlie, level 9000. Make sure you're not at Charlie, Jackson. Do you need to make it even for flight? You want 8,000 or 10,000? Uh, we could do 10,000. Make sure you're not at uh, Charlie. Time to maintain 10,000. 10,000, 9 Iraq, Charlie. Under 9 uh, Echo Charlie, who directs the Waycross, which is Alpha Yankee Sierra, and direct destination for active military airspace? Uh, was that Alpha Yankee Sierra? 9 Echo Charlie, yeah, yes sir, Alpha Yankee Sierra, and direct destination for active military airspace. Roger, uh, direct Alpha Yankee Sierra, then direct destination, 9 Echo Charlie. All right, where are we at? Uh, we are coming into the south part of Alabama. Yep. We're uh, 37.8 nautical miles from Huntsville, Alabama. And then while we're going to cross over into Tennessee for a little bit before we head into Nick, Nick Kentucky a little bit. And then into Farmington, Missouri. Missouri. And then it's going to be uh, fuel up, go potty. Find some food quick, eat the food, get the food, eat the food in the plane, and book it home. Because it is already 3.52 p.m. We got some hours to put on yet. Uh-huh. Let's see here. Let's do a little fun thing. Here, let's put a little at a waypoint at the end of this. Uh, we were just making a turn and not stopping. We'd be home at 8.45 p.m. So we got to make a quick turnaround. Yeah, with the stop, we'll probably be getting home like 9.30. It's a long travel day. Yeah, long travel day, but you know, when you don't start till 12.30 in the afternoon, Yeah. you know, had we got off by 9, that's, you know, three hours before. So instead of 8.45, or call it 9.30, we're talking 6.30. So that's not so bad. It's the experience. Yeah. We're seeing a lot of countryside. That's okay. And plus, it, it could be worse. It could be like midnight. Yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll probably get into our beds at like 10.30, probably 11. Yeah, it'll be it'll be a late 10 30. one. We've got, uh, you know, about an hour of light left here. This is one of my favorite times in the airplane is when either the sun goes up or goes down and it's kind of at an angle and it and it shines in and it's yeah. the sun goes down. Looks nice. Um, okay, my three takeaways from this trip. Yes. Number one. Number one. Is um, we need to be more intentional about planning our trips and not just thinking, oh, we're going to go on a whim, but really like right. getting together and actually like connecting more during the week. Yeah. Like, oh, what's going on this weekend? Or, you know, versus, right. oh, like, this is the first time we've talked all week. Yep. So survival mode. this trip was so successful because it was planned out. We we right. planned this trip last August, and it is you know it's Valentine's Day. Happy <gasps> Valentine's Happy Day! Happy Valentine's Day! Want to go on a date? Yeah. We could fly somewhere. We just did. Well, we currently are too. <laughs> we, we are. You know what I got you for Valentine's Day? What? A nice, shiny high five. So. Keep the hanky panky to a minimum on the video. Takeaway number one. Takeaway number two. Takeaway two. Maybe maybe you'll never totally be ready, but do the thing that you've been wanting to do so, your entire life. So right, don't right? wait for the situation to be perfect before you do to, before you pursue your dream right so it's never going to be a perfect time never sometimes you just have to say all right we're doing it sometimes the kids are you know are unhappy in the back seat when they're little yeah but we we work through it and they would be unhappy at home too but it's like it's worth it so yeah i mean that is my takeaway number two yeah it's definitely not perfect anytime Kiddo cakes are involved. No, no, it's not perfect, but it's like this it's vacation light. was worth. Oh yeah. Worth like just doing it. So, do the things. And my takeaway number three ties into that. It's what we, what you talked to Zatara uh, blogger about was life is short. Life is short. Kids, 
kids November 9, Charlie Delta, get contact old quickly. Being able to experience stuff as a family is important. Yeah, to really, because, you know, like Zatara, uh, Keith Whitaker kept saying is, you've only got your kids for a very short window where you can really, really enjoy them before they're adults and then they're going to have their own lives. Yeah. You know, EJ is six. So in 12 years, he'll be graduating. Right. 12 years he'll be graduating, in 10 years he'll be driving, oh boy. and in 8 years he's probably not going to want to have much to do with us. You know, he'll have sports and friends and doing it, so like that's like gonna 8 be more years. So we've, already got, we've only had him for 6, and yeah. now 8 more and it's going to be kind of, that's it. So, we're going to enjoy those kiddos. Yeah. Do you have any takeaways? Uh, reiterate everything you said. Um, also, uh, we've got a great group of friends. Just the <gasps> That was my second takeaway! I just totally made it up on the fly, that other thing! That was my second takeaway! Is, these things are more fun with friends. Like, yeah. trips, like, when, when you can, like, you have someone that you can meet somewhere. Right. And have, like, a destination friend thing. And, I mean, our flying friends, the, the aviation community is so amazing. It really, really is. I mean, everyone is so friendly, but... Our our Oshkosh friends. I mean, it's it's our Oshkosh family. Yeah. They really, really are like Their family. family. I mean, I'd do anything for any of them, and I know they do the same for me. So. And it's it's like it's it's great to do like a just solo family trip too, but really it's a like a whole lot of fun. It, but it, yeah, but it's family. so it's just so also great to do things with other people. And have like a crew together and experience things as a crew. Yep. Especially when, you know, the Schmidt girls have a blast with the Kranz boys and Lucy gets along with everyone and everyone. It's, so we had, we had five kids and they just all played together, you know? And it's just everyone gets along great with everyone. Everyone likes everyone. And it's just. The takeaway, you know. For your passion, like if you're building, if you're flying, if you're boating, to be able to find your crew yeah, find that you can do it with. Yep, I'd say that's a good way to put it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got we got a number of hours to put on yet, and we are gonna focus on flying. This might be it. So. Until see you next, next time. time. Bye. Bye.